Hello, I'm Dr. Suhashla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Patients often ask us what is the best age to get pregnant. Well, we have to look into this a little deeper. We need to look at the ethical aspects, social aspects, clinical aspects, every which way we have to tackle the problem and then come to a conclusion what works best for you. As a couple, when uh, you know a wife and a husband approach us, we need to look at their age um, definitely. We look at the married life, when we take a history, we see if they have had any surgeries before, they have any medical conditions, if they have had previous pregnancies and had miscarriages and abortions, all these things are taken into account definitely. Also we look at the investigations, whether her periods are regular, hormones are normal, her scan reports are fine, all those things are looked at. As uh, far as the husband is concerned, we do the semen analysis and we see if all the parameters are according to WHO guidelines that are given to us. So we do look at that. But what is the best age to get pregnant is a very baffling condition if we look at the social conditions of our society today. Now every woman now wants to uh, be educated and be financially independent which is right in our days and times. It is correct that we should not differentiate between a woman and a man. Every woman should get educated and have financial independence. But in the name of career and having financial independence, the age for uh, you know fertility is being uh, bypassed. Now these are two parallel things which are happening. The uh, f fertility age, the reproductive age of a woman and the uh, uh, I would say independent age of a woman. Once she starts working and uh, you know and starts earning, that age is different from the clinical age, the fertility age, the reproductive age of a woman. Remember that one races by the reproductive age races by, while the financial uh, you know the the race, the financial age goes very slow, grows very slow, and it continues growing. So it is a very critical decision for every woman whether she should wait. Uh, until she settles financially to have a child or just finish the child and then win her financial uh, battles. Basically what you need to understand scientifically is what I will be telling you and what you decide is totally up to your conditions. Are you financially independent? Will you be able to bring up a child? Are you clinically having some uh, concerns with your uh, bodies also which should be addressed quickly and you should get pregnant? Remember that every woman is born with all the eggs that she needs for her entire life. When she is in her mother's uh, womb itself, she has all the eggs. She has about 6 million eggs and when she is born every month a few are uh, atritic, they are dying. Once she starts uh, menstruating, when she starts getting her periods, only one uh, ovulates and uh, uh, quite a few of them are dying every month. So this is a cycle and until she hits menopause, all the eggs in the ovaries are exhausted. So this is a cycle which has to be kept in mind when you are wanting to decide. Not only this, there is another very critical clock that is running against you, the biological clock. From 30 years of age, every woman um, is not only losing the number of eggs in her ovaries, but she is also losing the quality of the eggs. Chromosomal abnormalities inside the eggs also keep increasing. So the idea basically naturally is that uh, all pregnancies and birth should happen before 30 because these eggs after 30 are of not good potential. Uh, when a child is born from such an um, egg, uh, the chances of an abnormal child are higher. So therefore, the, uh, the answer to the question, what is the best age to get pregnant, uh, I would say clinically is before 30. So before 30 is when you should have one or two children or you can have the second one or a little later but you should finish the first one before 30. After 30 the, uh, the quality of eggs also comes down, the implantation potential of the uh, uh, egg also comes down. So this is happening inside the woman's body and this is a very critical factor for you to decide what is a good time for you to get pregnant. If you have any such um, queries, if you want to understand what your chances are, if you are above 35 and you've had previous miscarriage, you've had previous abnormal children, you want to see what your care options are of having a normal child, please feel free to contact us on the number that you see on the screen. Thank you.